all four. I and see. hold yeah, on, yeah. hold on. That's something. That's something that you would long for, and that's yeah. something that you would love to aspire to in this life, in this realm. Yeah. Because you're going to help people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. However, however, I will argue that this is the same for this life. As Muslims, we will abstain from the forbidden things that God has told us to keep away from. But as a, um, uh, I would say, as a reward mm -hmm. for their next life, God has given us a description of what these women will look like. And to be honest, the Quran doesn't give a lustful or uh, a disrespectful or degrading description of these women. It's, it's not, it, it's not degrading. I'm just it's exactly. not disrespectful. It, it, I'm just saying yeah. it's in the emphasis, the way the sentence is said, it gives emphasis for this reward. And the reward says full-breasted women, pear-shaped women with beautiful eyes. And I'm saying, it's fine. You're saying that, oh, shouldn't we have... What's your objection to it? My, my objection, yeah. as I've said, yeah, is um, a creator, which is so holy, wouldn't give to his righteous creations something which is so vain, right? And, nearly, yeah. And as a response to what you said, you're saying, oh, right, but um, it's not as... You're, not, you're saying it's not as lustful and that we should want to reward for the righteous. And I'm saying that is true. Define holy. Holy, something which is sanctified, something which is above flesh. Yeah. Right. Something which is only can be Did? only attained by the creator. But I don't wanna I don't wanna deviate, yeah. I'm yeah, gonna yeah. finish. So from that you're saying, oh, uh, because because um because uh, we want a we want a good reward after we want a good reward after. But I'm saying as well to that uh, specific response. Yeah. Yes, of course you want a reward. But why? It, it's very illogical. But what's wrong with that? Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah. It's very illogical to say that that reward will be is uh, kind of um, it's kind of reaching in to the very thing which we were told to uh, completely and utterly destroy even from our own mindset, in from our own soul in this, in this world. Either way, no matter what it is, it should be it, like just like how it is in the Old Testament. Everything, if it's holy, it's an everlasting covenant. It is forever. It says in the Bible, all stuff like the Sabbath days, all of that. The, the righteous people, they're still going to be uh, yeah, doing well, that let, for let, eternity let, in let heaven. Me this, yeah, let me add this. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, having a beautiful... Oh, got, having a beautiful woman, yeah. a full dressed woman, having a woman with a beautiful eye, yeah. that you, you, you've seen, you talk to her parents and then you married her legally, yeah. okay? Well, if you're a Muslim, you did all the Muslim tradition, yeah. uh, and then you, you married this woman. If you're a Christian, you follow all the rules, yeah. everything is legal, okay? Yeah. Is there any problem with that? The problem is... No, 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 answer this question. From, okay. If, is there any problem with that? From from where I'm coming from, from the Old Testament, the Book of Remembrance, and yeah. the Apocrypha, yeah. it says that's a problem. No, and, I'll say, and I'll explain to you why. Say, so what does, what does it say in the Apocrypha? Does hold on. So you're you're taking from apocryphal works, right? Apocrypha and the Book yeah, of Remembrance. We've already talked about Old this Testament. Those are yeah. the doubts. Or right. The, so show me in the New Testament. Okay. Show me in either the Apocrypha, yeah, or the Old Testament, where given a description such as what's mentioned in the Quran is sinful. I'm not saying, remember, you keep going back to description. I'm not saying about the description. I'm talking about the context of the whole sentence, which puts emphasis on the fact that you're going to get full-breasted virgins. No, but even even that, even that part, heaven. but fine, even that part, but that's, show me. But let's stick to that part, because that's all I'm sticking on. I'm not no, talking about the no, words. No, 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 but I'm talking, no, okay, so. I'm talking about the emphasis, I'm talking about the context. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But what I'm saying, e even the context or the sentence itself, it seems to me that you're having a problem with the description that's given in there about the, the women that are fully breasted, etc. Right? Obviously, that's your issue. They, they but can I be full breasted, but I just think, I just think from uh, all my knowledge that um, uh, a creator wouldn't, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, no, give who that, he wouldn't give that as a focus for a reward for the righteous. That's no, but, what I'm saying. No, but who, no, with all due respect, but who are who are you to dictate what the what? God, hold on, I'm, I'm not saying this like no, being no, rude no, or anything. No, I but get your point. Who, who are you to kind of like dictate what is 
what God should say and what good God shouldn't say. I'm not dictating what he's saying. Okay. That's, what, that's why I'm asking questions and all I'm no, doing no, no, is interpreting. No, 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 I get that. But if God but, chooses... Oh, but he's not really my God, so in no, a no, sense, no, okay, fine. I'm able to do So are you... Okay, do you follow the God of the Old Testament? Uh, yeah, the, Just, creator, the creator of the universe, the most high. Okay, good. So the book of... Numbers, the book of Deuteronomy, the book of Exodus, do you accept those as the word of God? Yes, as well okay. as Psalms, Proverbs, Malachi, right. Ezekiel. Do you agree that there are some things in the scriptures that God will legislate to a prophet that maybe me and you may not understand? Depends, because it specifically says in the scripture that the servants of the Most High will be given the secrets of the Most High. So the, the things which uh, normal, uh, normal men and women won't be able to contemplate, or be, it, it's the covenant of the servants for them to uh, understand it. No, 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 I'm asking you a specific question. Do you I'm feel... Okay, right. In the Old Testament, right, yeah. God says in Deuteronomy chapter 20, yeah. if your family, your mother, yeah. or your son, Mm -hmm. or your your, your brother mm -hmm. try to turn you away from God yeah right what is the punishment that you should legislate on your own mother or your father or your brother if they choose to turn you away from the Creator when that laws is supposed to be in the land but is what you're supposed to do is that cre the Creator told you to do something now you're going a whoring to other gods right so of, of so course, what's the you're, of course you're gonna stone them so would you kill your own mother? If I what to if, if bro, she, think what you're saying. What? So okay. So yeah. listen carefully. That's why I'm, I'm, that, I'm about, that, I that's, that's why question. I asked you. That's why I asked you. I want to answer your question. Wait, wait, hold on a minute. Hold on. If hold she on. was a, if she was doing if she was like a witch, right? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about your mother's a witch. Yeah. I'm saying if your mother was another religion. Yeah. Yeah. And your mother, okay. Let's say your mother was a Muslim. No, right? no. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Listen no, but, to the question. But you got to put it in, in context. I am. She was originally no. an Israelite. No, 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 no. It doesn't she say that. No. What, who was Should the we bring the verse? Who's the laws given to? Let's bring who's the, the laws given to? Um, let's bring who the was the laws given to in Deuteronomy? Hold they were on. given to the seed of Hold the Israel, on. so all of them were of Israel. Listen, relax. It wasn't talking about relax. like any other bloodline. Listen, <laughs> listen, relax. Yeah. I'm asking so, you a question, right? Yeah. If your mother was a Muslim, right, and your mother was trying to turn you away from Yahweh, right? Why wait, wait, oh, hold Yahweh. on. Okay. Yahweh is a Phoenician. No God. problem. No, whatever yeah. God you want. What do you, what, how do you address God? Most High. Same. Most, okay. Most so high. if your if your mother was trying to take you away from the Most High, yeah, right, and make you serve another Creator, yeah, right, and the punishment for that is death, yeah. The Bible clearly says that your yeah. hand should not move with pity. Mm -hmm. Would you kill your own mother or your own brother, right? Would you do it? Because the Most High said so. Would you follow that? Would you follow God's command by killing your own mother? Were they Israelites? No. If they weren't Israelites, they're not in the land. Okay, so let's say for argument's sake, they were Israelites. Would you carry out God's yes. command? You will kill your mother. Yes. Okay, cool. Because right. I love the Creator, and it says in Deuteronomy, love the Creator with all your heart, all your soul, Good. and all your might. Good. So what I'm trying to make you understand yeah. is that to a normal person, yeah. they might think that's barbaric. Would you agree? So I what, don't know. What would because you in the context in the context Bro, of, you think killing your mum's not barbaric? In the context of the earth, you know how much Bro, listen you know to what you're saying. Dirt everyone has done. You know how much dirt everyone has I'm done. Everyone's ancestors. Yeah, in the context of the earth, you know how much crap uh, all ancestors have done. Everything in the context everything of the world. Is okay. everything is biblical. So let me ask you this so question. This is so let me ask you this question. Which it's is what righteous? Hold That's on. All it wait, is. wait, wait. So you feel that Killing your own mother is righteous. Listen carefully, yeah. I'm not, I'm you, not saying no, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. No, 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 no. No, no. Hear, hear this out. Hear my. Yeah. Hear it out, yeah. So obviously, killing your own mother is righteous because the Most High says so, right? Yeah. But when God gives a description about fair breasts in the Quran, that's you don't think that's you think that's out of the out of the parameters. I'm only saying that because. Are you hearing this, <laughs> <laughs> bro? Yeah. Are, you, are, you, are you with me? I hear what you're saying, but it's it's in the so context. Got, it's in the context of specifically. You are with the creator of the universe, right? You are his creation. You've got a literal, you've got a literal bloodline connection with him. 
and you're going a whoring to other, you're going a whoring with other demonic creators. And remember, with these demonic pagan gods, the first thing which you would do is put them in the, uh, put them in the fire and give them to Malek. You would sacrifice your child. This, this was the lot of the pagan creator uh, of the pagan gods of the fallen angels, right? Yeah. So God saw that evil, and He said. I don't want that in my lot. I don't want that yeah. in my land. That's all, that's all he's saying. So in that context, if he doesn't want that in that land, that whole bloodline is going to be purged. Same with what happened with Akan. Yeah, he stole from the Philistines or uh, from an enemy of Israel when they, uh, when they, when the Israelites went and uh, took over the land, right, and were told to destroy everything. Akan. Uh, somebody from the line of Judah, he stole and his whole bloodline was purged. They yeah. were stoned to death. Yeah. Because the Most High, he does not accept uncleanliness. Simple no, but what I'm trying to... Look, I understand what you're trying to say. Yeah. And I understand that you're trying to just give a justification as to why God is... Uh, you know, would, would legislate that an Israelite should kill his own mother and his own father and his own brother and no pity should move in his hand while you're doing it. If you go and against the yeah, most high. Yeah, exactly. But what I'm saying, you in find... That specific but, that's fine. But you find that acceptable. You find that something which God has legislated. Yeah. And you find that perfectly fine. Even though in the Quran it doesn't say anything of the sort. It doesn't give no description that you should kill someone like this if they turn away from the Creator. In the fact, in the Quran, Allah said, La ikra hafidin, there is no compulsion in religion. So if someone decides to leave a faith, that's that that's down to that person's prerogative. Well, they should be able hold on one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should be able to leave the faith without any repercussions. They the Bible isn't a faith, the Bible is a no, historical no, book. I, I understand that, but what I'm trying to say to you is that that sounds more barbaric than the Quran if you want to really put it in the realm of legislation. So what I'm trying to say is that you have no problem in accepting a God that says you should kill your own mother because the Most High says it, but then when the Most High says to us that he's given a description in paradise... No, God, wait, hold on, hold on one second. Bear with me, bear with me. Not the Most High. Wait, one second. We believe that Allah is the Most High, right? You, we just have to agree to disagree. All right, all right. Yeah, that's yeah. no problem. Do you understand? But what I'm saying to you, right, is that you have no issue with that. But the Quran gives us a, um, a description of what the women of paradise may look like, and you seem to find that like lustful or dis I don't know if I don't want to use the word disgusting to you, but no, I'll, I'll say vain. Okay, vain. Okay, vain. okay. Vanity. But as, as I said to you before, my friend, is that the thing which you're comparing, you can't compare. Uh, uh, an act of love for God to something which is being uh, something which is being communicated as vanity. No, but my friend, my friend, listen. Yeah. What is wrong if God Himself gives a description of the women of paradise and says this will be the reward that you will get in the hereafter if you? Do not commit fornication if you abstain from adultery, right? Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Oh, I, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I, no, no, I, I, but I haven't question. finished. I, 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 don't, I don't want it to like. But I haven't finished though. I haven't finished. All right, go, go on. Yeah. Do you believe? Do you believe in paradise? Yes. Do you believe in paradise? You will get whatever you want by you. Because obviously, let's. You no, been for, no. You, you been I'll say no. Okay. Why is that? Because whatever I want is not what everything God wants, it's what God wants. And I need to I need to put myself, I need to put my soul in line and confide in the most high in his ways and in his thoughts. So the fleshly the fleshly things which I want, yeah, I that is unacceptable. So are there any are there any descriptions of paradise in the Bible? Um, yes. What is it? Unfortunately, I didn't bring it, but it's in the apocalypse of, uh, of Ezra. Okay. Do we have the description of the paradise in the New, on the Old Testament? Yes. Okay. Apocalypse of Ezra. Right. Give me some... Okay, I know you don't have it with you now. Yeah. But give me some description of what that paradise in your world view is going to look like. Because it seems to me, right, that the paradise you believe in is quite a restricted... It's like, hold on, hold on one second, and I'll tell you why I feel it's the case, right? Yeah. It seems that the paradise we believe in is we get whatever we want 
because that's the reward of what the righteous have done in this life. Yeah. So we've restricted ourselves from sinning in this life, yeah. right? And that doesn't mean that we won't sin in this life because even righteous people sin, mm. right? But we try our best to become as righteous as much as we can. Yes. But in the next life, because we've done our best to stop ourselves from doing the most evil things in this life, God will give us what we want in the next life. Yeah. But it seems if your paradise, it's like a traffic light system where you get amber, you get green and you get red because according to you i asked you can you get whatever you want in the hereafter in your world view of paradise you said no you will only get what god can i am i rightly saying that you only get what god gives you you only get what god gives you but um i'm really going from semantics because what i'm saying is like the lustful things which i want i'm not going to get but the the things, the righteous things, which I want, I'm gonna get, which is of what God wants. So okay. what, what I'm based, I'm trying to make a separation here. If you, you, you kind of get what right. I'm trying to say. You, have you not ever lusted in your in your thoughts before? Yes, I have. Okay, course. right. Have you restricted your lustful thinking because you're thinking of God? Yes. Right. So, in the hereafter, yeah. Are you saying? that the realm of the hereafter yeah. is the equivalence of the realm in this life. No, I'm saying that Why is that? Why is it different? Why is the lust of this life, why is the realm of this life different for the next life? The, the realm or the lust? The realm. the realm. Why is it different? Because it's, it's the creator's realm, that's why. Right, okay. If you've obeyed God all your life, yeah. right, and you've worshipped him, yeah. and you obeyed him yeah. as much as you can to the best of your ability, yeah. right, and when you get up there yeah. in, in the hereafter, mm -hmm. why would you not be at a position with God to say, you know what, God, I've obeyed you in this life, yeah. but this is what I would like in the hereafter. This is not lustful to ask God for what you want, because did not Je do you believe in Jesus? Right? No. Okay, you don't believe in Jesus, right? Okay. So it depends on what you want. It depends on what you want. Exactly. I can't. I can't say, hey, you know, I'm. I, you know, most high, you told me not to murder. Yeah, I go to. I go to the creator of the universe when I die and I'm like, hey, I don't like that guy. I have to smack him up, I have to murder him. Can I do it? What, where, where? Do, what are you talking about? But what, because what, I, what I'm trying to equate- You lost me, I don't know. Okay, what I'm trying to equate to, yeah. to back to that verse of, you know, full breasts and all that stuff. I'm taking the full breasts thing as something which is vanity. The Most High says, and even you know people like Solomon and other prophets, you know, being blessed by the word of the Most High, said that uh, you know the, the most of the stuff in this realm is vanity. So, and I'm and in this world, you see. Notice, to, look in, at the words you're. Look at the words you're but using. It's still, it's in, okay. It's vanity everywhere. No, everywhere. no, no, no. Now you, now you've altered your. Hold on. If I look at, if I look at somebody, yeah, and oh. I, if I look at a woman and I say, oh, I want to do this, this, and that for her, that, in a sec, in a I sexual agree way. With you. That's lustful. That and it's the same up there as no, well. No, 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 no. You're saying it's not the same up there. Wait, Are you hold serious? On. What, hold on a minute. Uh, no, you're not being serious. No, you're not listening. Though. You're not serious. Uh, do you want to do you want to listen to what I'm saying? No, 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 no serious. Why now? Why are you talking to you after you saying you're not serious? Oh, go on, go on. Right. Sorry. I, I said that's why I asked you. This is the reason why I asked you. Is the realm of this? Listen to words. I'm using. This is now word game we're using here, right? Yeah. yeah I'm right. saying, is the realm of this life? Equivalent to the realm of the hereafter. In that, in that way, I'll say yes and no. Listen, because what you do right now, what as we speak, what you're doing right now is being recorded. What you're doing right now, I, I don't know if you're aware of something called the ether, but the ether, from all my evidence, yeah, is. The most high uh, essence, and it's everywhere. What they call uh, dark matter and cosmic whatever, it's everywhere. It's literally in the air. You can't see it, but so everywhere. Just, quick, just very quickly, you, you believe that the Old Testament is the word of God? Is that right? It's the word of the Most High. Yes. The word of the Most High. Okay, fine. Right. So let's talk about the book itself. Yeah. Right. Let's talk about the book because so far I can say. You know, all praises belong to God. At least we've got a description in the Quran what we will potentially get in the hereafter. And that's something that as Muslims we can look forward to. And as a result of that, we can abstain from committing. We can. Yeah. We can abstain from committing certain types of sins 
because we long for the hereafter and we long for the pleasures of the next life and Which the realm of righteousness the, the, not yeah, of vanity but listen this is it's not vanity if God has given a description of what the women will look like in the hereafter that's not vanity I know that the not vanity, vanity that you're speaking about is from the realm of your mind and you're equivocating the, the realm of the hereafter to this life if you're equivocating it to this life then yes I understand what you're coming from this is why I was saying to you that the women of this life and if you start to lust off the women of this life and start thinking about it in a what's that yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're lusting after the women of this life, right? So when a woman goes down to the club, for example, and you're lusting after her, yes, that's lustful thinking. But the women of then hereafter is not equivalent to the women of this life. Yeah. It's a totally different creation in itself, right? We believe that the creation that God will give to us in the hereafter is a different creation in itself. It is not equivalent. Hold on. It is not equivalent to the creation of this life because we are flesh and bone. We are going to be on a different playing field in the next life. Do you understand? I understand. But going back to the point where you said that the description was vanity, I'm talking about the context of the description. Why would he say, give me, okay, you tell me, explain the verse to me. He has up, said, bring out the verse, bring out the verse. Uh, oh, right, right. Bring out the verse. What verse is it, by the way? It's uh, a certain number. 7833 Have you read the whole verse? Yeah, it starts from 30. Have you read the, it like the context the context starts from 31. What's the context? Oh, of what the of what? Yes, you understood the context. Yeah, of what the righteous are. He's, um, I think, it's uh, the God who is. It's either the God who's speaking or somebody else who's speaking. But he's saying, indeed, for the righteous is attainment, uh, gardens and grapevines, and full-breasted companions of equal age. Yeah. Full-breasted companions. Is that the translation you got there? Um, that is the. International. So your your translation your translation says full breasted companion of people. Yeah, age. always says buxom. There's there's about 21 translations here, and it all says stuff like full bosomed maidens, yeah. full bosom maidens, full yeah. bosom maidens with swelling breasts. Yeah. Nubile wet match companions, full breasted maidens of equal age and art. Yeah, new, nubile, well-matched companions, yeah. voluptuous women of equal age, youthful maidens of like age, yeah. graceful maidens of the same image. Yeah. So which one, so uh, which one did you choose? Which one did you choose? I picked the, the, the pair. The, 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 yeah, but it's, it's the majority. So you choose, it's, you choose it's, the pair one because the, the Arabic. It's not just the pair. It's to, it's talking about their it's talking about their breasts. So it's, it's all it's all full breasted. Yeah, because the way the way you when you start the conversation, yeah. the way you were calling it, like yeah. the, the, the description, the, the emphasis of the pair. And that, yeah, but it's, it, yeah, but it's saying pair. Because so. but this is the English translation. You have to understand the Arabic. What is well, the, yeah, but it, it translated it from the Arabic. Yeah. Yeah, so I understand what I'm saying. I understand. Yeah. Look, okay, so hold on one second. Do you know what? Like I just find it I find it quite strange, right? Mm -hmm. That in this verse, like God is not being graphic, he's just giving a description that what the righteous will receive. But we've all oh, hold on one but second. Just like, but that's not for you to, to tell God. What? I don't, Dis oh, I don't what, think second. a righteous. I don't think a righteous creator would put, would use that as a as a um, as a present as a as a as a reward for for. Yeah, but that's you. That's that's. Because, okay, that, hold on one second. That's you dictating terms. I'm not dictating. To, I'm going. To, well, well, my knowledge is just coming from. No, the no, I get, no, I get. No, I get that. That's all okay, I'm okay. Right. So let me ask you this. Right. When Lot had sexual intercourse with his two daughters yeah right do you first of all do you believe Lot was a prophet of God Lot he wasn't a prophet Lot wasn't a prophet he was just he was um Lot was a prophet 
Lot was not a prophet. Hold on, let's just let's just find out. Lot was not a prophet. In the in the Old Testament, Lot was not a prophet. He was um he was uh he was a relative uh, to Abraham, and uh, for the most part, he was a righteous man. He was a righteous soul of the Creator. That's why he was saved out of uh, the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Right, so with Lot, right? Yeah. Hold on, he was concerned. Does, what, does, does it say in your book that uh, Lot is a prophet? No, hold on one second. Yeah, we believe Lot was a prophet. But the thing is that what we don't associate with Lot is what he did to him with his own two daughters yeah. by getting them pregnant. It's not what he did, it's what they did to him. Yeah, but, th did, okay, would you say that that is someone that we should follow as an example? To mankind, we shouldn't, we shouldn't, well, is it is, we shouldn't is it righteousness? Hold on one second. Is it righteousness for a man who is supposed to be an example to others, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Irrespective of whether his daughters coerced him into having sex, because apparently the story goes like this: is that his daughters coerced their own father, got him drunk, right, mm -hmm. and he had sexual intercourse and got them pregnant. Mm -hmm. Is that an example to follow? Of course not. The action isn't. Okay. But then again, wait, wait. David, right? King David was one of the most righteous men, one yeah. of the righteous souls on this earth. Yeah. He was literally, uh, from my evidence, he was literally called by the Most High as the Most Oh, come in. As the Most High's, as the Most High's son. Yeah. The Most High called him that. Okay. He killed a man for the loss of a woman. Is, was David was David a prophet of God? Yes, he right. was. A, he was a king prophet. Right. So Solomon wait, wait, hold was, a, was a prophet, and you know what he did? He his teachings or his I don't know. It's, it's still arguable, but he his. So ways, what did David do? His ways. Hold on. His ways inspired people uh, who do. Freemasonry and all that kind of stuff. That okay. still doesn't stop him from being a prophet wait, of the Creator. Wait, hold on a one second. One of the wisest men, one of the wisest souls on so earth. So what did David do? Lived. What did David do? What? He lusted after who? He lusted after a woman and so so much that he killed he killed uh, the woman's wife to get with that woman. Okay. Do you not see how messed up that is? I know it's messed up. Right. So let's 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 rationalize this, right? If I'm going to send someone as an emissary or an mm. envoy or someone mm. to deliver a message, yeah. I'm going to send someone who's going to deliver the message in a, in a respectable way to those particular people I've been sent to, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Just like Jesus, for example. I know you don't believe in Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. But we believe that Jesus is the messenger of God. Mm -hmm. And we believe in the final prophet, Muhammad. Mm -hmm. God is going to send righteous people, mm -hmm. right, to a nation mm -hmm. That's going to be an example for the people, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If David is supposed to be sent by God and he's tricking someone by killing that person's husband yes. to get with his wife, that is completely not of, that's, that is, we, we can argue that is not the word of God. How can, how can it's God? It's not the word of God, but you're, you're, you can't, you're saying So hold on, people, would you, would you say saying, that, would you say saying, that part of the... You're saying that people are incapable of making mistakes when they're supposed to be perfect onto the Creator. No, no, no. I'm saying you to you... made one mistake. Bro, does, it, does that sound like a mistake to you? I make major it, mistakes. Like what? what? What other mistakes? What other mistakes did David make? Are right. you born again, sir? Right. Born again? Um, <laughs> no, 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 this, this guy, he's... He's, he's here to shout. Why are you talking then? Okay. What are you talking about? Yeah, ignore him. What are you talking about? A man can't save you. A man. Jesus a flesh. is not man. A flesh. He's God. Yeah? He's human. You really think the creator of the universe Bro, ignore, would allow himself guy. to be guy. violated by yes. his own creation? Are you missing brain cells? He did it, he you you he did it he did because he loved you. That's what, that's what we are. But anyway, that's beside the point. He's missing right. brain cells. Look, You're not seeing the truth. You need the Holy Spirit. Ignore this guy, yeah, yeah. honestly, because he's just on the next team. Right, so what I'm saying, right, is that we believe in Islam that God sends a, a, rep a good representation, mm -hmm. right, to deliver his message. Mm -hmm. God is not going to send an individual that is corrupt, right, that's going to deliver a, a corrupt person who's going to deliver a divine revelation. It's just incompatible. 
right? Well, he it's, 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 no, he made the mistake. Brother, that, that is make brother, that is, but that is, that, sure that is, no, but that is, no, but that is corruption. You just admitted that's corruption. Is that not corrupt? If okay, so if you're married, right? Yeah. And I try to get you killed to get with your wife, is that not corruption? Of course it is. That's but what that I'm saying. Doesn't make you corrupt. Of course it makes me corrupt. So okay, so one because second. hold on. Okay, so you made one sin and then it's over. No, 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 no. Hold on. I never said that. I never said it, that. But is it all over? I never is said it all over. Bro, listen to what I'm saying to if you. If you never said that, then that means you no, agree what, what I'm saying I said. to you. If, he was a prophet, you made a mistake. If I, make, if I premeditated a plan, yeah. right? if I premeditated a plan, yeah. and I said, you know, what's your name? My, uh, ha Hamza. Hamza. My name is Hamza. Michael. Michael. I, I don't really have a name. Okay. Okay. I have, no. a, I have a soulful signal. Okay. Soulful signal, anonymous, Mr. No Name. No, no, no problem. <laughs> my soulful signal is Michael because when you say, okay, quick thing. No, no, because I want to address you as some. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Michael. I could address you as Michael. Right. Yeah, but just quick. Um, okay. um, if you go into the definitions of name, uh, the only definition of a name, of a first name, is a Christian name. And the definition of a last name is a gentilinious oh, name. Brother, no problem. No, ever, however you want me to address you, I'm just No, no, I'm just, I'm giving you... No you know, problem, no problem, no problem. Because, because what, what the English language sees you as. Yeah. Right? The last name says that you are a gentilinious name, okay, well, a my, gentile nation. No problem. My so name is Hamza, so, so that's my name. Anyway, uh, uh, so if I, I'll call you Michael, because yeah. you said Michael in the beginning. Yeah. Right? So I said, okay, so Michael, I, I decided to premeditate a nice little plan. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what? I'm scheming with all my guys here. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna we're we gonna do this. We're gonna go into a battle, but I want Michael to die, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna scheme up a plan to get you killed so I can get with your wife. Mm -hmm. That is corruption on my side yeah. because I'm premeditating, I'm the one scheming, I'm mm -hmm. the one planning to get yeah. rid of you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put you in the first line mm -hmm. so the higher, that there's a higher chance of you being killed in the first line, mm -hmm. right, of, of a battle, mm -hmm. right? And I'm gonna now get with your wife, marry her, have kids with her, and settle with her. Mm -hmm. That is corruption. Mm -hmm. Now, if this is what is mentioned in the Bible, mm -hmm. I will argue that's not the word of God. Okay. That's not the word of God. Or do you, do you think that Abraham was a prophet? We believe that Abraham is a prophet, yeah. You know, Abraham lied, right? On three occasions, on two occasions. Oh, where? In the Bible? Yep. But I don't believe in the... Listen, okay. brother, listen. So, <laughs> you're okay. okay. No, wait, so hold on. Okay, wait, wait. So you're saying... So you're saying... No, no, hold on one second. No, quickly. Okay. So you're saying that um, a, a prophet or anyone who is with the creator of the universe yeah. is unable to make mistakes on their journey. Listen, listen carefully. Men make mistakes, yeah. right? But they don't commit major sins, right? What There's a difference. A major sin? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna because a sin it. is a sin. Listen, you can with the most high. you can sin unintentionally, right? Yeah. As in the book of Numbers, chapter twenty, I believe. Yeah. You can sin unintentionally, right? It happens. Mm -hmm. You can do something, or you can say something that could be sinful, and you're mm -hmm. not aware of it. We're humans. It happens. Mm -hmm. But then, when you commit sins of fornicating. Yeah. Right, that's a major sin. Yeah. When you commit sins of like the example that's give, given to David, where David uh, schemes to have the husband murder, killed murder. or murder, even, even better, even murdered and then get with your wife, that's a major sin. Right, mm -hmm. that's that's sin. That's that's like in the hereafter. If you don't repent for such a sin, you can actually go to hell for something like that. Of course. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you so purge out the bloodline as well. Brother, I agree with you. Yeah. So I agree with you. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you, right? When God sends an, 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 an envoy or yeah. an emissary or someone who's best representing the message, yeah. God is going to send someone who is a human yeah. but is not going to commit major sins like this. And the reason why, no, 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 and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Tell you why right? The reason why I'm saying this is because we believe that the prophets are an example to, to, to mankind, right? Yeah. Like Jesus was an example to the children of Israel yeah. because they're supposed to follow Whoa, in his... Wow, I, I know you don't believe in Jesus, I get that. So I'm not, I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there, okay, all right. right? What I'm saying is that we believe as Muslims that Jesus was uh, uh, an example to the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. No problem. So obviously whatever he said and did, they were supposed to follow in his footsteps. Prophets and messengers are example to others, mm -hmm. right? So we're supposed to follow in their respective footsteps. Mm -hmm. But if we have a prophet that's killing children, in Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 5, we find that prophet Ezekiel slaughtered men, women and children. Can we say that this is an example to follow? Now you might say, hey, you're taking this out of context. But, yeah. but, yes, but we still find that there were prophets that they were doing things that would, would be considered as barbaric. Killing a, a, a woman and killing a child, is this not barbaric? Well, in the Muslim faith, 
you're supposed to well I've, I've seen some couple of verses where it says what's to right? kill your enemies so what's wrong with killing an enemy especially especially one who is trying to inflict pain torture and is trying to take you away from your literal your life source okay the, the creator me. is your life source no problem so Tell if you come in 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 the way of that yeah there's gonna be problems right so tell me what a child has done in opposition to you not to me no no not to you when i say i'm, I'm, I'm talking i'm talking hypothetically right because you're saying in response to what i said a child can do evil things don't don't think that child really children are innocent children can do innocent well okay so children can do witchcraft wait hold on a minute a children child do, a child a chi if they are taught to they can do witchcraft. No, no no hold on a minute a child that comes out of his mother's womb yeah does it have the rationality and capability of a grown person no why is that because it, it's it's newly born exactly it's newly born hold on one second because you it depends well, no, on the bloodline no, because no, certain no, bloodlines no, 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 certain bloodlines yeah. are intrinsically evil that's why specifically that's why specifically in uh in the time of a khan uh I think in, it's in Kings or Chronicles. Right, so if you came from an intrinsically evil generation, yeah. you, I'm just saying, yeah, yeah. and I took out a knife and stabbed you, and I argued, I used your argument, said, well, you come from an intrinsically evil genealogical line. Yeah. Is that justice? You're taking it out of context because it has to be in the, it has to be in the realm of the land. No. The land is where, the, not, the land is where the law is. So you believe in, okay, so you believe in injustice then? Sorry? You believe in injustice? I don't believe in injustice. So what has a child done to deserve the punishment and the killing of, of what? Okay, what has a child... Okay, so let's go to... He, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll answer it quickly. Right, go on. He may not have done anything. But well, there you go. But Case I'm, closed. But unfortunately, <laughs> the way the world works is, if your fathers, if your mothers done unclean, detestable, abominable things, right. that the creator of the universe will punish your children for what you done. Right. You inherit right. the sins... Oh, 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 one second. You, hold that thought. Hold that You hold inherit... That the sins of your fathers and because and it makes sense because the because the most high understands or well there's more reason to it because obviously I'm I'm but a mere soul I don't really know the whole uh, reasoning and the thoughts of the most high but one reason could be the fact that um, the the fathers and the mothers they know that um, to actually get the message across that they're doing wrong or what they're doing they the they their own offspring, their own kin, yeah. has been affected by the actions which they did right. against the creator. So let's say I robbed HSBC yep. down in Park Lane, yep. right? And as a result of the what the robbery that I done, yeah. two people were killed, right? It was an armed robbery, yep. right? And let's say, for example, you was there, mm -hmm. right? We were both presented in front of a judge mm -hmm. and the judge said, I'm going to let you go, but I'm going to punish you. Is that justice? No. Why is it injustice? Because he's letting one, he's letting the one guy who still participated in the sin go. So you're saying that you're more just than God. What? Yeah. I'm claiming you're arguing that you're more just than God. How? Right. I asked you in the beginning of this conversation, not yeah. beginning, but during the conversation, right? Mm -hmm. What has a child done? Yeah. Right. In Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 5, and also you'll find this in Numbers chapter 31 verse 17, mm -hmm. right? Where God legislated the death and the enslavement of young children, right? Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 5, God says... Should I, should I, uh, yeah, you want to... Let's go to Ezekiel 9 5, then we go to Numbers 31 17, right? Oh, if you want to say something, God, please say it. Say, no, say. I'm going I'm to distract him because he's going to let something cut his fun. Okay, okay. You're going to what? I'm going to um, take you away from what you're doing. Well, what do you mean? There was, wanted, there was something I wanted to say. Yeah. He said, say it. And I said, no, I don't want to distract you from what you want oh, to find. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, what was it? Ezekiel? Ezekiel 9. Nine. So 
If you want to take, if you want to... Nine, which one? Verse five. Let's start from verse 3 to get context with you. Yeah, might. Let, let, might as well start from 1. Okay, no problem, yeah. no problem. Uh, can I, you want to read it? Or? It's up to you, do you want to read it? Right. You read it. So, he cried also in mine ears with a loud voice saying, cause them that have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lieth toward the north, and every man a slaughter, a slaughter weapon in his hand. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with the writer's inkhorn by his side and they went in and stood beside the brazen altar and the glory of the creator of the universe was gone up from the cherub whereupon he was to the threshold of the house and he called to the man cloth with linen which had the writer's inkhorn by his side yeah. and the lord said unto him go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads uh, of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof and to the others he said in mine hearing go ye after him through the city and smite and let not your eyes spare neither have ye pity yeah continue I thought you said five. Oh no continue 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 all right slay utterly old and young both maids and little children and women but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary when they began at the ancient men when, when they began at the ancient men which were before the house and he said unto them defile the house and fill the courts with slain go you forth and they went forth and slew in the city and it came to pass while they were slaying them and I was left that I fell upon my face and I cried and said ah Lord God would thou destroy all the residue of Israel in thy powering out thy fury upon Jerusalem then said he unto unto me the iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is ex exceeding great exceeding great it should say exceedingly well yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the land is full of blood and the city full of uh, perverseness for they say the Lord hath forsaken the earth but the Lord seeth not and as for me also mine eye shall not spare neither will I have pity but I will recompense their way upon their head and behold the man clothed with linen which had the inkhorn by his side reported the matter saying i have done as thou hast commanded me okay so do you not see the injustice in this no okay you go against so, the so, creator of the universe that's what you get if you are of the bloodline of israel you have a blood connection so killing women if you have a blood connection with the creator of, uh, of the universe yeah he has loved you he's given everything to you and you're out here a whoring for other gods you're out here making his own court his own abode a stench a so, so under this context uh, hold on hold on yeah. a stench a reapproach onto his name yeah. yeah causing him to be a laughter to the en to the enemies of yeah. israel what do you expect him to do? So, so what do you, what, what right, do you okay, I'm, I'm responding. I'm responding. Ah, it's okay. I'm about the children. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the children, right? Yeah. What has the children done? Because I asked you. Hold on one second. Uh, and so, so hold on one second. I already what? answered it. Allow him to answer. I beg he, he answered. He answered again. No, the children I, aspect. The sins of the fathers yeah. will go on to the children. Can I ask my point? And, my point. And, and the fathers, and uh, it's not like this wasn't known. Yeah, this was even a precept, even in stuff like the book of Jasha, even even before the law, the actual um, full law was given. So the sins of the father, so you talk about a generation before? Yes. So, oh, oh, hold on. Yeah, so the generation the, before, so the people, but but, oh, wait, hold the on. The generation man. you're talking about, it's, it's not just, it's not like a big leap. It's, it's literally like... No, 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 no. Like hold your, on one second. The generation, time. hold on one second. Yeah, yeah. The generation before, huh? the generation before, yeah. the people are now responsible for what the people of the generation they're before have done. They're responsible, they're just going to get, the, they're going to unfortunately, uh, they're going to unfortunately suffer. Unfortunately, you look at the words you're using. Yeah, unfortunately. Use the word unfortunately. But that's just so how that, it is. So that just goes to show, just by that word that you use, yeah. that's unjust. It's not un, It's not unjust. Sure. Hold on one it's second. It's unfortunate no. if I trip down the road. No, 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 hold on a minute. The sins of the forefathers, yeah. right? It's unfortunate. 
It's, do you know what fortune no, means? Hear me out. Do you know what fortune he Michael, means? Michael, hear me out. It's fair, it's just unfortunate. I don't like Michael, it, but if that is the way the world Michael, works. Michael, hear me out. Yeah, right? I'm hearing you out. Listen carefully to what you just said. Yep. The sins of the forefathers, yep. were they there? What? The people who are getting punished, yep. were they there? Yes, they got punished as well. Listen carefully, no, listen. Yeah. The people who are getting punished yeah. are getting punished as a result of what their forefathers have done. Yes. Right. Or you can say curse. Did you exist in your forefathers' time? No. You? Did you? No. Right. So they're getting punished, they get they're receiving yeah. a collective punishment yep. for what their forefathers have done. Yeah. Right? Yep. And you use the word unfortunately, yep. which demonstrates that is unjust. It, it is unjust. No, oh, 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 I'm hold not on. saying let, that let it's finish. unjust. Let. I'm saying that the fathers shouldn't have done that. Listen, what you do yeah. and what I do is two different things. I should not be... But we're not related. Wait, hold on one second, one second. Do you not see how this contradicts the Bible? How? In Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 25. Yeah. Right. It says the sons shall not be the sons shall not be made to suffer the iniquity of the father. Neither shall the father be made to suffer iniquity of the son. Every person is responsible for their own iniquity, mm -hmm. and every person is responsible for own, for their own sins. Is that correct or not? Uh, I can check it, but is it in the context of after they no, no, come no. back to the land? Remember, because you it has to wait be in one context. second. You said the forefathers, right? Yeah. That directly contradicts. Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 20. Context, Let's read it. Let's read context? it. Let's, of course it's in context. Okay, right. Of course. It's a general verse. Ezekiel right. 18 verse... I think it's Ezekiel 18. Let's have a look. Uh, From, because from what I'm seeing here, hold on, uh, hold on. Yet you say, why should not the son suffer from the equity of the father when the son has done? Well, hold on a minute. The son, the son. Yeah, here it is. It says, Wait, which one? The uh, Ezekiel 18 verse 20. 20. Yeah. Ready? It says, can we, can we read it in context? Go ahead. Where do you want to start from? Because you do see this is a massive contradiction to what you've just what you've read in Ezekiel chapter. In context, then I'll see in it's a massive contradiction. Because it says here, right? I'm gonna read from 20 because it gives the it gives the context downwards. But if you want to start from another verse, we'll do that in a second. Alright. It says the soul that sins shall die. Right? That statement alone contradicts because remember you said earlier, right? The four what the forefathers have done. The people in the future are suffering for what the forefathers have done. Mm -hmm. It says, The soul that sinned, it shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor shall the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The mm -hmm. righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of, it, of the wicked shall be upon himself. Mm -hmm. But if a wicked man turns away from all his sins, which he has committed, and keeps all my stat statutes, mm -hmm. and does what is lawful and righteous, or right, he shall live and shall not die. None of his transgressions shall he be committed, shall be remembered against him for the righteous uh, which he has done, surely he shall live. Something yeah. like this, right? Mm -hmm. So, what do we learn from this? The person who sins, right, is responsible for their own iniquity and their own sins. Right or wrong? That's correct. Right. So, if the forefathers, in Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 5, yeah. if it says that what the forefathers have done, and the people in Ezekiel's time are now suffering for the for the sins of what the forefathers have done. Yes. This contradicts Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 20. Because it says that person shall suffer for their own iniquity. Mm -hmm. And if that person turns away from their sins, they shall not see basically punishment. That's what it says here. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's a direct contradiction to the verse that I've read here. Right? Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that's not God's word. Hmm. I would disagree on the mere fact that um, basically it did say in I think in Deuteronomy 
that the Most High visits the iniquity of the forefathers and the, even to the third and fourth generation. No, but, that how, hate do you, me. No, but how do you explain yeah. the verse where it says, first of all, that verse is in Isaiah 9 5 it's, is unjust. Yeah. It's unjust because it's what the forefathers have done, and the people are suffering for what the forefathers have done. That's, un, mm -hmm. that's unfair. And that in itself is unjust. And second of all, the killing of innocent children is unjust, right? What has the donkey done? What? Hold on, what's it? What was the donkey done? What has the animal done? Nothing. But you even. I mean, sorry. What, you are you going to tell me that the, the donkey sinned as well, yeah? All I'm saying is, at that time, a lot of demonic essences no. is, was there. What has the donkey done? There were a lot of demonic essences. In the donkey? You think demons can't go in? The demons go everywhere. So they can go in you. They can go everywhere. So, so witchcraft. So, yeah, witchcraft. Witchcraft. According oh, you can say. Yeah, according witchcraft, according to the Old Testament, did did Solomon not dabble in witchcraft? Uh, no. 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 Um, he, dab he dabbled in. He wasn't. He dabbled in witchcraft. Sorry, he didn't. He dabbled in witchcraft only uh, after when he was getting. Um, he was getting led astray into no, no. certain so, other so, books. So, by your analogy. With Solomon dealing in witchcraft, he should be dealt with. Yes. Smite. God should smite him. Yes. Okay, did you hear that? Sorry, no, no, I was. According to his analogy, yeah. the donkeys and the, and the kids and all that were, were dealing with demonic forces. They could have. I'm just could've. saying. Could have. Okay. No, but by his analogy, well, but by yeah, his, you sound like a rational guy. I don't believe that. This. But by his analogy, I don't believe you believe that. What, you, what has you, a donkey, bro? What has a donkey done? What do you mean? I'm asking it, you. It doesn't matter what it's done. Um, did you, did you been, hear uh, his response? Been it could have been defiled. Did you hear his it response? It could have been defiled. Uh, uh, did what? you hear his response? Not, not fully. What was it? I said, according to your, in that case, talking about dabbling with witchcraft, yeah. according to the Old Testament, Solomon dabbled in witchcraft. So by using his logic, Solomon should be executed. Oh, he said right. yes. Yeah. But, oh, I see. Okay, but, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It was and up, and it's up and to the creator. And, uh, and my original, to, and my original point. And my original point. It's up to the creator. My original point, which I wanted to make ten minutes ago. You talked about. It's up to the creator. No problem. You talked about the mother and the father are doing stuff, yeah. which could, which could defile the child in terms of their upbringing and their moral character. Mm -hmm. So when David put the, the the woman's husband on the front lines, so highly likely he could be killed, yeah. so he can carry on. God forbid, or the beloved fornicating. Mm -hmm. So then, his David's children should they not then not be executed because the iniquity of the father can trans transcend into the child. It can transcend, so what but you, it doesn't mean so what that done, it doesn't mean that all of them are going to get executed. No it just it just says that um yeah. oh the Most High is most like is no definitely going to curse you. And he was cursed when his uh, I think the child which he had with that specific woman it died. The, and the prophet said, "Your because of what you've done, uh, the Most High is going to take your child." Fair enough. But he had more than one child, didn't he? Yeah. They're, and, and they're all and the offspring of this deviant David, but, uh, but, according to the Old Testament. Yeah, and then some of so them. What? And uh, as you and as you've seen, Solomon went. So, can, Solomon can I, went. Can off, I, Solomon went astray. Yeah. And also, uh, the son which rebelled against him uh, uh, was killed by his mercenaries. Great. Okay. So what? So, so it's, it happens. It happens. But it's up to the Creator on how it happens. You can't. You can't tell. You can't tell me. Uh, I should know how it happens. How am I supposed to know what the Creator does? He's, uh, um, he said it's going to happen, and I, I'm not going to know how it's going to happen unless he says it. Simple as that. Okay. So what you've just gone and done is you've you've condemned David and Solomon even more so. Out. Because the analogy you're using against, oh well, the reason why the kid was killed is yeah. because of the iniquity of, of their parents. Well, that's what the prophet said. That's what Prophet Nathan literally said. So therefore, any any father or son who does anything, then it should be enacted on their children. Most of the time, it, well, it actually does happen. It does happen. Okay. So what, yeah. so what's the, what's the problem? I don't see the problem. Here. No, do you... the, the, the problem is 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 you you about three minutes ago said by rights. David should have been executed, and your answer was yes. Yes. That's the problem. But the most. But does does but, it not register? Uh, you're not getting what I'm saying. No, do you I, understand what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying. But all I'm saying is the Most High yes. can do what He wants. Simple as that. 
and that, is that injustice that David? So yeah, is that a just God then? God is injustice. Is that a just God then? Yes. So when you say, so when you say, the big yeah, exactly. But he doesn't believe. No, but you two have two different beliefs. No, he, he doesn't I'm believe in Jesus, bro. I'm not Christian. I, I believe in the book of the old, and that's it. That's all I can say. He believes in the apocrypha. And, that's and that's why it's not quite you. Uh, book of Joshua, Book of Jubilees, all of that. Okay, but you believe in Jesus, right? But he doesn't. That's why. You don't believe in. You no. believe in the New Testament. No. Old Testament. Old Testament. Okay. So he's what, no. But that's that's what I'm saying. So if you get involved, that's gonna be like that's a traffic light for you. <laughs> that's a traffic light for him. I'm trying to save you. <laughs> I mean, it does, I'm, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but the main point I'm trying is to save your life. The, creator, the main point is the creator he can do what he likes because it, it's his creation. Is he not the most just? Yes. But you may the things which he does which you think is oh it's a, it's a it's a very that's a very bold thing to do. That's very um bold. Yeah, bold. Not unjust. Not bold. Bold. No, unjust. Okay, you say unjust. My claim is unjust, so it's not bold. Okay, you say unjust. Me, but me, he he owns everything, so he can do what he likes. And uh, so he can also be unjust. Well, technically no, because if it's in the realm of righteousness, no. So where's the righteousness in killing the child for something the child did not do? Because the because can you, it, can you demonstrate the justice the justice within that place? It shows it shows to the father you done something wrong. What about the child? Never do child. It again. What about the, the child? child? What has a child done? So it's unjust. No, not really. We just have to agree to disagree. Yeah. Sins of the, can, that, can, you bear the sins of the father. Can, 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 That's just how it happens. So there's no way to demonstrate the, the justice in the child being killed and the donkey. Uh, there's I, no way for it to be. In, in, from, the, from the knowledge of the old there's two, unjust. There's two injustices here. The, just, the injustice is where the forefathers, because they weren't there, but they're suffering for what their forefathers have done, which is unjust in itself. And the second of all Not is. Really. Bro, okay, again for the fourth time, um, brother Michael, can you can you can you demonstrate the justice within that? The justice within that is because you're saying not really, isn't it? So what is? It's teaching. It's teaching onto the fathers, and it's showing onto the fathers that what they've done was such a grievous sin onto the Most High. I get that, but what I'm saying so that's 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 the only no 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 no. If you really love the Creator, no. as it says in Deuteronomy, love the Creator with all your heart, get, all your soul, Michael, all your might. I get that. And you go against the Creator. You make you make him to be. But it's what their forefathers have done, though. It doesn't. It doesn't. It does matter because they weren't there. But it's still he. So, they're still so in the bloodline, that bloodline is a, a is a reproach. Now. Okay, let me ask you a question. That bloodline let me ask is you, a reproach. Let now. me let me ask you a question. Yeah. You have a you have a genealogy yourself, right? Yeah. That goes back to, Ali. Let's say, the 1600s. Let's say you have a genealogy that goes back to the 1600s. Yeah. So let's say, your great 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 grandfather, right, killed a hundred people, right. And then we're living in 2022, mm -hmm. and then the judge punishes you because what your great 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 grandfather done, mm -hmm. and you was you was you were given a prison sentence of 25 years because what your great 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 grandfather done. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? In that context, bro, is it fair? In that context, what what context? In that context, what um that he was what? So basically, yeah. He I, was, I'd love to hear this out, go on. So he was, I'm going to hear this out, boy. He was, he, this don't make no sense. He go was on. punished for the sins of the grandfather. No, 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 no. I'm asking you, you. If I your great, okay. yeah, if I your great, great grandfather sin. committed murder, yeah. right? And then in 2022, the judge decides, you know what? Because your grandfather's dead, yeah. I'm going to punish Michael and send him to prison for that. Is it just? The, see, the context. Bro, come on. The, the context. Is it just? The context. There's, there's such... Curses are a spiritual thing. Bro. It's not direct where you know go to jail Michael, you murdered. It's it's Michael, a spiritual thing. Answer the I'll question. Be, I'll be I'll be cursed when if you said something like, Oh, because because my grandfather murdered and then now every time I every time I um, yeah. I strive for a goal to better my life, I yeah. always I always reach a pitfall yeah. and, it, and it makes me into a uh, 
it, it makes it so bad that I just want to give up. Michael, you're not answering the question. That is, that is just. In Ma that context, Michael, that is just. Michael, you're not answering the question. It's in I'm the asking context. you. No, it's not I'm, the right context. It's, it's in the wrong if context. If your great great grandfather committed murder, yeah. right, and you came 20 years later, yeah. or 400, okay, let's even make it better. You came 500 years later, mm -hmm. and you were made to suffer a prison sentence of 35 years because what he did is that justice. That's not justice. And that because you're taking it out of the wrong context. There's difference between there's difference between right. direct judgment so in, and spiritual judgment. Right. So in Ezekiel, yeah. right, it says what their forefathers have done. Yes. Were they present at they, the time of their forefathers? Weren't they, they weren't present. Thank you. Oh, at, wait, 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 hold on a minute. No, they wasn't present. We can go back to the they weren't present. But wait, 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 what, what did it say? What did it say? Just let's let go. Right, yeah, yeah, go back All to right. the verse. Yeah. It's what, they, what their forefathers did. Is it what their forefathers done? Okay. As for his father, because he cruelly uh, oppressed, spoiled his brother by violence and did that which is not good among his people, lo, even he shall die in his iniquity. Yet say ye, why doth not the son bear the iniquity of the father, when the son hath done that which is lawful and right, and hath kept all my statutes, and hath done them, he shall surely live. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. No, we're talking about Ezekiel 9.5. Oh, 9.5. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. You're quoting Ezekiel 18, 20. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Israel, for authority, and we shall be pressed. Oh, okay. And I will lay the dead carcasses of the children of Israel before their idols. And I will scatter your bones round about your altars. Is is a command for relating to what the forefathers have done? That's not relating to what the forefathers have done. That's relating to the children of Israel who are actually committing idolatry in his sanctuary. All right, let's go back to a verse. Smite your eyes shall not spare, you shall show no pity, slay. No, there was mercy. Then he said to him, The guilt of the house of Israel and Judah is exceedingly great. The land is full of blood and the city full of injustice. For they say, The Lord has forsaken the land and the Lord does not see. And as for me, my eyes will not spare, nor will I have pity, but I will requite their deeds upon their heads. And lo, the man clothed in the lining, right in case of his... Remember, you, there's a, remember, there is a distinction. I can be punished for the sins of my fathers, but as it clearly says, I will not die for the sins of the fathers. No, but what I'm saying to you, it is not justice. If your forefathers have done something yeah. and you are made to suffer the iniquity of what they have done, that is unjust. I say it's just. And, sorry? I say it's just. It can't be just. Yeah. Because you wasn't there. Because in, in the and as I said, that contradicts Ezekiel 18 verse 20. It's just because in the context, the fathers had everything, yeah, they, did, they lacked nothing and they disobeyed. So what, most high, what the Most High done was made them a reproach yeah, curse them and curse their children, so they could learn. Oh, if if I ever do that again, yeah, this is what's going to happen. So definitely, I'm learning from the sins of my fathers. I'm not going to do that. That's unjust. That's How is unjust. that unjust? That's unjust. Discipline is unjust. I, no, no, no. I never said no. I never that said, is discipline. No, though. no. What I just what I just said in plain English. Discipline. Is, is discipline. No, 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 no. This is a concept. When of, you uh, punish. A nation that wasn't present at the time of the crime that's been done yeah and the nation that comes afterwards that precedes it is to want to suffer the iniquity of that that came before it mm. is unjust no, just like no, the exact no. this is exactly the reason why I gave you the example earlier if your great 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 grandfather committed a crime yeah. and you suffered the iniquity of what he did yeah. you know me and you know that's not just I can't send you for, I can't send you away. Well, that's not in the same Hold on one second. Direct judgment is different Irrespe from spiritual curses. Even if for argument's sake, yeah. your father was a spiritual man, yeah. right? 
and he was a, a religious figure and yeah. he committed a sin or he killed someone like wizardry. and then sorry like wizardry let's say wizardry. yeah okay he did something evil yeah and then you down the line yeah. down that genealogical line yeah suffered for what he has done because of his actions yeah that's not just well that's not just not say it's just but unfortunately it's not even just in the real world it's you may say it's that is the the spiritual world is the real world no 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 what i'm saying to you all right, all right. Okay, you're rolling your eyes at me like I'm making no sense. You're saying that how you say the spiritual world is not the real world. No, what I'm saying it's, to you, it's literally everything. Listen, listen it's carefully. It's literally the fiber of I'm existence. saying to you, like you what? it is unfair if I sent you to prison for a hundred years yeah. for what someone else has done. Yeah. Is it fair? That's not in the same context. Okay, we just have to agree to so disagree. Around circus. Yeah, we are. We just have to agree to, to all right. disagree. All right. Pleasure, Michael. <laughs> Yeah, you too. <laughs> and you're, it's nice to speak to you. We, you're obviously, it's nice to speak to different people. Yeah. It's my first time here, actually. Yeah? yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, nice to speak to you anyway. Yeah, man. and you, man. Uh, sure. What was your name again? Hamza. 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 Here next week? Yeah, I come, I come here most Sundays. Yeah? Most Sundays. Yeah. Are, you, are you here next week? Probably. Like, I was supposed to go to the library, the British library, but then I was like, I'll take a trip here and then... Um, but I'm not really too busy, but I'll probably come again. Hey, hey, it's natural to agree to disagree on points, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Do you know what I mean? And, that, and I think that's what makes a healthy discussion, you know? Mm -hmm. And obviously, I, I vehemently disagree with you, yeah. and you might vehemently disagree with myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the end of the day, maybe next week, mm -hmm. we can have a, 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 maybe, maybe another discussion about it next maybe, time. Maybe. Inshallah. Oh yeah, but you did, you did ask quickly, what... Uh, remember back to the point what you said that the Old Testament doesn't describe paradise. Yeah, you said that you'll give you you. Yeah, you said that you show me that next week or next time. Because I asked you, does it give a description? You said you don't have it with you. Technically, I, I remember it kind of off head. It says in the Apocalypse of Ezra what, what we will be given before Judgment Day, which is basically before paradise. No, but I'm saying in paradise. In paradise. But that's what I'm saying. So it's better that you come next week with the evidence yeah. and then we can discuss it, isn't it? Are you here next week? Maybe, maybe. Okay. Technically it already says it in Deuteronomy, technically. But you see, you see you're see, you kind of different because you believe in apocalypse, right? Apocrypha. Apocrypha, sorry. Yeah. So it's good to have an understanding of what is in those apocryphal works. I mean, you can ask any question. No, no, but th that's what I'm saying. I want a full description of what paradise will be like in those apocryphal oh, okay. works. I'll, I'll tell you to now. which, in the in the apocryphal, from what I'm I'm only on the book of Jubilees right now. I'm trying to read it in order. Right? The Ju what? Book of Jubilees. Okay. I'm on, I'm so on... I'm thinking about the Queen Jubilee. Yeah. <laughs> the Jubilee Queen is Jubilee. actually like a, a, a description of like a a time frame. Yeah, so, yeah, but um, that's how they used it in that language. But uh, from what I've read, I haven't seen anything which describes how heaven is going to be like. Instead of obviously the the general term of it's going to be paradise, it's going to be only the righteous, and it's going to be separated from the wicked. No, we know that, but does it give a description of what it will well, be like? like gonna what's gonna, yeah, what's going to happen? Like we want to know, like the. The nice little parts, you know what I mean? Apart from just like, okay, there's a separation between the people of hell and then you've got the people of paradise. That, that's quite general, yeah. which I can accept. Yeah. But the Quran gives a description. Does your apocrypha give a description? If you don't have it, we can always come back to it. The Old, te the Old Testament, um, from what I've seen, doesn't give a description of it. Okay, we'll leave it then. We'll leave it. Alright, right, Michael, peace and love, man. Bismillah rahman rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. We spoke to Michael, a uh, very, very nice guy. Um, we have to agree to disagree. And I hope, inshallah, next time he comes, we will be able to have a, a, a fruitful discussion about, you know, paradise and judgment. Do you want to add anything to this, inshallah? No, alhamdulillah. Okay, barakallah